We bless you, that we worship you. We honor you and we reference on you. You are the I am Ta'em. You are the most blessed. You are the most holy. You are the King of Kings, you are the Amta and Wonderful Council, the Accident God, Wonderful God. We bless you, God, God. We worship you, Masters of Heaven, Agents of Days, Land of the Tribe of Judah. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you. We thank you, God, God. We release the power of God upon this platform. <clears throat> We release the power of God upon this platform. We release the grace of God upon your life, upon your family. In the name of Jesus, who is past the minister and spirit to go forth and minister for the helps of salvation. We say that go visit your people, locate your people this time, this hour, this many wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Eddie said that Jesus of Holy Spirit, sweet Holy Spirit. We bless you, Daddy God. Touch your people, Daddy God. As I have come to hear your word, Daddy God, they may not go back to sin. We release our grace of God upon their life. We release our blessing of God upon their life. We release the manifestation of the most high God upon their life in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Daliko, hallelujah. Agents of days, land of the child of Judah, we bless you, Daliko, you have a strong tower, you have a rock, we bless you, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Accident keeping God, we worship you. We honor your name. We reference your name. We honor your name. We worship you. We honor your name. We celebrate your name in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Papa. We worship you. We bless you for the wonderful people you have given unto me, Daddy God. Touch them, Daddy God, bless them, locate them in the name of Jesus. Daddy God, grant them the heart desire in the name of Jesus. Ye Kadaba Shikanadi, Ye Kupadaba Shatabada, Sweet Holy Spirit, locate them, Daddy God, locate them, bless them financially, bless them morally, bless them physically, bless them spiritually in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Daddy God, we worship you, we worship you. We worship you. We honor your name. We reference your name. We can make an every signal upon your people in the name of Jesus. We declare healing upon their life, miracles in their life, healing their life, breakthrough in their life. Man kushi kadaba shata panade, ye kadaba shaka pa kasha kadaba shata panade, ye kudaba shata daba baba kasha panade, rapado ba shata baba baba baba. We declare the heal in the name of Jesus. We can make an every infinite spirit, every contrary spirit, every spirit of signal. 
cast it out in the name of Jesus. We cast it out in the name of Jesus. We can make it a clean spirit right now in the name of Jesus. The name that is above our name, by the mention of the name Jesus, that every knee shall bow in heaven and earth and beneath the earth in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Papa. We worship you. We release the Holy Ghost right now. We release the Holy Ghost. We release the Holy Ghost. We release the Holy Ghost. We release the Holy Ghost upon this platform. Upon your people, upon your wonderful people. We release the Holy Ghost. We release the Holy Ghost. In your body, in your system, in your soul. I release the Holy Ghost. I release the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I release the Holy Ghost. Ye ko ba shata ba ku la ba shata ba da. Ma ku da ba sheke da ba shata ba da di. Ra ba da ba sheko ba da ba shata da di. Ma ku da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da. Zeke de be de be de ra ba. We bless you, Daddy God. We worship you. We worship you. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Counselor. Sweet Holy Spirit. We worship you. Take control. Take control of the people. Feel your people right now. Feel your people. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Feel your people right now. We worship you, Master Jesus. Son of the living God, we worship you. Son of the most high God, we worship you. Master Jesus, we worship you. We worship you. Ye kaba shata ba da ba shiki da ba da ba shada de ra pa ku da ba shaka da ba shata ba de oh love the Lord love the Lord we worship you we worship you we worship you face of your people supply their need according to your riches in glory man ku da ba shata ba de open avenue for someone today open opportunity for someone today open breakthrough for someone today bless someone today this wonderful Sunday this excellent Sunday this lovely Sunday this Sabbath that you thank you God. We bless you, Daddy God. We worship you. We honor your name. We reference your name. <clears throat> in Jesus' mighty name. In, in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' precious name. How wonderful it is to be in the presence of the Most High God. I celebrate grace for your life in the name of Jesus as you have come here to hear the word of God, the untaluted word of God. You will now go by the sin in the name of Jesus. There will be transformation in your life. There will be a breakthrough in your life. There will be miracles and sounds and wonder in your life. There will be many testimonies in your life. The Lord will put testimony in your mouth in the name of Jesus. I bless God for your life. I celebrate grace for you in the name of Jesus. I have no copyright to the song playing the Bible plan. I love you, but God love you. The best share this video be not a sin of the gospel of Christ. The more you share this video, the more God is going to bless you. God is going to locate you in Jesus' mighty name. We will be looking at the word of God. And if you have your power, turn to me. Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. We'll be looking at the word of God and we'll be reading from Matthew chapter 24, verse 4 to 13. And it reads... According to Matthew chapter 24, verse 4 to 13. And Jesus answers and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of words and rumors of words. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, for nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquake, and diverse places. Verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated for all nations for my name's sake. Verse 10. And then shall many of the offend, and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Verse 11, and many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Verse 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Verse 13, but he that shall endure unto the end, their sins shall be saved. The words of the law. Beloved brothers and sisters, today, our topic for today is take heed that no man deceive you. 
Take heed that no man fools you. Jesus was speaking to the children of God. He was speaking to the disciples. He was speaking to you and I. Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed, my beloved person and sister, that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man fool you. I will open the scripture and explain so I make us to understand that we should be careful that no man should fool us, that no man should lie to us concerning the end time and the truth. Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man fool you. The world we live in is not our home. We are passing through. But take heed, it's a warning to you, it's a warning to me, it's a warning to our generation, that we should take heed that no man should deceive us. Take heed that no man fool you and our brothers and sister. That's why the Bible makes the honor in Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. He said, For there shall arise false prophets and false, false Christ and false prophets, and they shall show great sounds and wonder, insomuch that if they, if were possible, they should deceive their very life. He said there will be many sounds and wonder, false prophets will arrive, false Christ will arrive. But he said, if it were possible to deceive many, they will deceive their very life. But I've come to let you know that take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man lie to you concerning the truth in the end time. Take heed. Jesus wants you and I to take heed. He wants you and I to be careful. He wants you and I to be mindful that we should not be deceived. We should not be lied to. That many will come in his name. Many will come in his name. Many will come say, I'm Christ. Many will come as a prophet. Many will come as an apostle. Many will come as a teacher. Many will come falsely, breaking false doctrine. But he said, you and I should take heed that we should not be deceived. You and I should take heed to make sure to protect, to understand the, the time. We should take heed that they should not deceive and lie to all. He said, take heed that no man deceive you. Concerning the truth, concerning the end time. There will be people that will come in my name and say, I am a crash. And they will lie to you. Many will deceive them. They will deceive many. But I'm telling you today. I'm telling your children today. I'm telling your grandchildren today. I'm telling the generation and the next generation. Take heed that no man lie to you concerning the truth of God, concerning the end time. Take heed. Be prepared. Be on your lie. Beloved person, and sister. Because there are many false prophets that have gone into the world. There are many false teachers that have gone to the world. Deceiving God's people. But I've come to let you know. Have our Lord Jesus is speaking unto you. He said, Take care that no man deceive you. If it was possible, they would deceive the very elect. Take heed that no man lie to you. Take heed that no man de de deceive you. Take heed that no man carry astray. Take heed who unto the truth, who unto the word of God, know Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. So run yourself unto him. Make sure you are always in the presence of the Most High God. Make sure Jesus dwell in you. Make sure you are in Christ Jesus, that you will be saved. Take heed and no man deceive you. And many will come in my name, propagating false message, propagating false doctrine. But take heed and no man deceive you. He said, take heed. That no man deceive you. Take heed that no man lie to you. And that's why he make the honor say in Jeremiah 14, verse 14. He said, Then the Lord said unto me, The prophet prophesy lies in my name, and I said them not. He said, Many will come and prophesy in my name, but I send them not. He said, Many will come and say lies, but I send them not. I send them now, neither have I commanded them, neither speak unto them. He said, I have not commanded them, I have not spoken unto them. But many will come into this war, they will fool the children of God. But he said, take heed that you not be deceived. He said, be mindful. He said, be mindful that people should not fool you concerning the truth of God, concerning the end time. But he said, take heed, be on their life. Be prepared, know God for yourself. Know Jesus for yourself. That no man deceive you, that no man mislead you, that no man be could scream. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I bring the undiluted word, the uncompromising word of the Almighty God. He have sent me to instruct you. He have sent me to warn you. He have sent his prophet to warn you. My brothers and sister, take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed. When you hear the rumors of war, nation against nations, 
He said, be not worried for all these things which come to pass. Earthquake taking place in nation today, in our time, in our generation. There are nations against nation fighting. There are earthquakes in all over. There are pestilence, virus, corona, Ebola, all kinds of virus are unfolding. HIV, all kinds of virus are unfolding. Beloved brothers and sisters, when you see this thing, these are the sons of sorrow. Brothers and sister, take heed that no man deceive you. Brothers and sister, the Lord Jesus Christ is warning you. He said, be prepared. He said, take heed. He said, be on your life. He said, be vigilant that no man deceive you. When these things are happening, he said, this is the beginning of sorrow. Take heed that no man deceive you. And God said, I have now sent them the lie. I have now sent them. I come to Jeremiah 14, verse 14. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophet said, the prophet prophets lie in my name. I send them now, neither have I commanded them, neither speak unto them. The prophets are unto you a false vision, divinations and the things of not, and the deceit of their own heart. Their false prophet will come and prophesy the deceit of their heart because they want to mislead God's people. They want to fool God's people out of their own heart. Brothers and sister, I pass by to let you know there will be men of God, women of God. There will come false teacher, false prophet. He said, Descend their spirit. He said, Test their spirit. He said, Test their spirit. Brothers and sisters, we know them by their food. Brothers and sisters, be on their lie that no man deceive you. The word of God come unto you. There will be no excuse that you didn't hear the word of God. Go have come to warn you. Be not deceived. Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. For many will come in my name and say I'm crushed. Many will come with some wonder and great things that even they very elect if they are not careful to be deceived. But take heed, take heed, take heed that no man deceive you. He said, Take heed that no man fool you. It is time that we get closer to the Almighty God. It is time that you know God for yourself. You need to know God for yourself. Do not depend on other people to know God for you. Nobody can know God for their friend. The God sent you and I. He sent his prophet. He sent his apostle. He sent his teacher eventually to tell his people. So you need to take heed concerning the end time. You need to take heed concerning the word of God. You need to take heed. The happiness has come in. You need to take heed that no man deceive you. Know God for yourself. Know Jesus for yourself. Build a relationship with the almighty God. Build a relationship with Jesus. Be a relationship with the Holy Spirit. He said, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. That's why he made the honor said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. He said, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing, but in water they are waving with wolves. He said, Be careful, take heed, be well of false prophets, for they will come in sheep clothing. But they are roving wolves. They are they, 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 they are wolves that come in sheep clothing. They will come and deceive many. They will come to lie to many. They will come and say the Lord say which the Lord have not spoken. But I pass by to let you know. Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed. When you hear wars, rumors of wars, when you hear Wars, nation against nation, every. He said, be not afraid, do not worry, do not be troubled, because all these things must come to pass for it. When you hear war, when you hear pestilence, when you hear viral, you hear all these things that happen, these things must come to pass. Suddenly they come the beginning of sorrow. That's why this person, it is the appropriate imperative that we take heed that no man deceive us. Take heed that no man deceive us. That all these things must come to pass. All these things must come to pass. Then the beginning of sorrow. Then the beginning of persecution. Where there will be no natural law. There will be brother against brother. Sister against sister. Friends against friends. Family against friendly. Where because there will be no love. Love will go cool. Love will go warm. The, my brother, violence will increase. Persecution will increase. Hatred will increase. But he said, take heed. That no man deceive you. Take he, but endure to the end. He said, hold fast. 
Hold fast. Because this thing at the beginning, it must come to pass. Nation against nation, country against country, organization against organization, all this thing must come to pass. People fighting each other, family fighting, this thing must come to pass. There will be family, there will be fighting, there will be shortage of food, Hong Kong. People will be running head and scatter. But this thing will come to pass. This thing will come to pass. There will be no food, shortage of food, shortage of material, things will be scarce. But this thing must come to pass. There will be disease. Diseases will be all over, sicknesses, Africa, coronavirus, pestilence, those things will come to pass. We begin to see this thing at the beginning of sorrow. The beginning of sorrow. Take it and no man deceive you. When we see these kinds of happenings, then we should know that it is the beginning of sorrow. When we see these things that happen, it's the beginning of sorrow. Tell no man fool to you. Be not to see, but take heed when these things begin to happen. Understand, no, it is the beginning of sorrow. But when there's war, nation against nation, earthquake, these things must come to pass first. But you begin to see Hong Kong, farming. Shortage of food, scarcity of food. You begin to see people going head and scatter, sickness that making not comprehend, that making not understand, the virus, pestilence, earthquake. These things begin to happen. You begin to understand that it is the beginning of sorrow. Take it and no man to save you. Hold on to Jesus Christ. He is the author and finisher of our faith. Surround your life unto him. Keep your life unto him. Surround yourself unto him. Make him your savior. Make him the master of your life. Take it and no man to save you. Take heed. Take heed, my brothers and sister. Take heed, brothers. Be wise that no man deceive you. Be wise and no man deceive you. Accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and personal Savior. Accept him now. This is appropriate time. This is acceptable time. To accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man fool you. Concerning the truth in the end time. Prepare yourself. Be well. There will come a time there will be no natural love. Natural love will go cold. It will wax. It will go cold. Hatred will increase. Persecution will increase. But endure to the end. Blessed are they that endure to the end. Hold fast. Stay tough. Take care that no man to save you. Hold on to Jesus Christ. He is the author and the finish of our faith. Hold up to him. Look up to him. Hold up to him. That's what the power maker to understand. In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6. Ephesians 5 verse 7. Make him to understand. Say, let no man deceive you with vain words. Let no man deceive you with lying words. For because of these things come after the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. These things come as a wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Let no man deceive you with lying words. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Don't let nobody lie to you with sweet words. But these things are the wrath of God that will come upon them which are the children of disobedience. Take heed and no man deceive you. Hold on to Jesus Christ. He is the author and finish of our faith. He is our strong tower. The righteous run on it for help. He is our right. He is our center defense. He is our provider. For we watch you the valley of shadow of death. We will fear no evil. For thou with all, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I bring the word of God. Take heed that no man deceive you. Go unto Jesus Christ. Go unto Jesus Christ. So I run unto him. Know Christ for yourself now. Know the matter God for yourself now. Submit yourself unto him. Surround yourself unto him. This is the appropriate time. This is the acceptable time. Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Take heed that no man deceive you with lying words. Take heed. Take these things come up the wrath of God upon the tree of disobedience. The wrath of God will come upon the tree of disobedience. So take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed. You say it's okay. Take heed, say God can understand. Take heed, say, oh God, yeah, God will not punish you. Take heed. 
that no man is safe you. For the wrath of God will come upon the children of disobedience. Take heed that many in this world deceive the children of God, but have come to inform you who unto Jesus Christ. No God for yourself, no Christ for yourself. He is the author and finisher. He is the way maker. He is a provider. He is the man that says yes, no one says no. He is a God of yesterday and today and forever. He is an impossible maker. Beloved brothers and sisters, who unto Christ Jesus. What is impossible to make is possible to go. He will provide for you. Shall cast your burden upon him. He said, Come unto me, all that live in heavy lady, and I will give you rest, and you will find rest in your soul. Take heed that no man deceive you, no Christ Jesus for yourself. There are many antichrists going into the world, the spirit of antichrist into this world, deceiving the children of God. But take heed, because the wrath of God will come upon the children of disobedience. Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man foot you. He said, let no man deceive you with vain words, with lying words, with deceitful words. For the wrath of God will come upon the children of disobedience. Change today. Why you are alive? Why you have the chance? Why you have breath of life today? You don't know what may happen tomorrow. There's the appropriate time. Begin to change your life. Begin to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. Begin to surrender yourself to Him. Begin to offer yourself to Him. Say, Oh Lord, take control of my life. Say, Lord, offer myself to you. And take heed that no man deceive you. He said, They will persecute you and deliver you for my sake. You will be afflicted. You will be afflicted and tormented. Many will lie on you. He said, Christian and beautiful will begin to suffer. They will kill you for my sake. But he said, he that endure to the end. You will be saved. We must endure to the end. We must make it to the end. We must reach the end. We must reach the end. Look up to the hill that come of your head. See the glory that set before you. He that dwell to the end will be safe. He that dwell to the end will be blessed. It's important that we dwell to the end. That's why it is important for us to take heed that no man deceive us. That no man deceive us. That no man deceive us. Take heed that no man deceive us, brothers and sisters. Take heed. That's why he make us understand. In Mark chapter 4, verse 17, he said, have no root in themselves. And so endure, endure, but for a time. Afterward, when afflictions or persecution arises, for the world's sake, middle of the day will be offended. There are many will be offended when persecution comes. Many will be offended. Say, so why am I persecuted for Jesus Christ? Why are they killed in me? Why are they tormenting me? Many will be afflicted. Many will be offended. And they will leave the faith. They will go away from the faith. But pass back to Latino, endure to the end. But those that endure to the end, they are safe. But those that endure to the end, they are worthy to stand before the Son of Man. For those that endure to the end, they are blessed. Brothers and sisters, take heed that no make deceive you, endure to the end. Hold fast to Jesus Christ. He is the author of our finish of our faith. Brothers and sisters, that is coming a time. There's coming a time. There will be natural law. There will be hatred. Hatred will increase. Persecution will increase. Inflation will increase. The children will go be killed. They will be hunted for. For he needs to say. But he said, endure to the end. Take heed that no man deceive you. These things is the beginning of sorrow. But he that dwell to the end shall be safe. Will be wafted to stand before the Son of Man. Take ye. You'll be afflicted for his name's sake. You'll be persecuted for his name's sake. But take ye unto the end. Take ye. Be not deceived. Don't let no man deceive you. Concerning the truth in the end time. But these things should happen. Nation against nation, country against country, earthquake. These things must come to pass. There will be sicknesses in the world, viruses, 
disease, pestilence. These things, when you begin to see them, you begin to experience them, begin to know that it is the beginning of sorrow. Nobody can tell you. You can can you see? Nobody can explain to you. Can you see? Take it that no man deceive you. Take it that no man lie to you. Hope Jesus Christ. He is the ultimate official. Submit yourself to him. Making the law of your life. Making the savior of your life. Take it that no man deceive you. Take it that no man deceive you. Take it, beloved person, and sister, that no man deceive you. That's why make God honestly in Matthew chapter 10, verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my knee's sake. He said, Many will hate you for my knee's sake, but he that endure to the end shall be saved. But he that endure to the end, he that hold fast, who that can stand affliction, he that can stand persecution for my knee's sake, you will be saved. Take heed that no man deceive you. For we are propagating the word of God. You are preaching the word of God. Many will not like you. Many will hate you for his need's sake. Why are you preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ? Why are you preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God? Many will hate you. They will persecute you for his need's sake. But he said, endure to the end. Endure to the end. Endure to the end. Your own friends will persecute you. Your own friends will persecute you. People will find persecuting your cycle in your community. He said there will be no natural law. Hatred will increase. He said men will be offended for him because will be persecuted because of his needs say. But he said endure to the end. Hold on to the end. Hold fast. For those that endure to the end will be saved. They will be wafted to stand before the Son of Man. Hold fast. We will be hated by all nations for his needs sake. Many people will be angry and offended and should betray one another. People will be leaving their family. Christians will be together, they will be, they'll be separating. Why? Because they will be offended. Why are they being persecuted for Jesus Christ? Why are they being denied food for Jesus Christ? Why are they being denied joy for Jesus Christ? But he said, take heed that no man deceive you. He that do to the end will be safe. These are the beginning of sorrow. These are beginning of persecutions. Take heed that no man deceive you. When you begin to see these things, it is a beginning of sorrow. Can you see? Can you see our war? Can you see the things that happen in this war? Can you see for yourself? It's not, it's, it, no one can tell you. You can see for yourself. But take heed that no man deceive you. When you begin to see this thing, that the beginning of sorrow. But he said, he that dwell to the end, it will be saved. Take heed that no man deceive you, no man lie to you. For the wrath of God will come upon the tree of disobedience. For the wrath of God will come upon the tree of disobedience. Take heed. This is a proper time. This is a acceptable time to hold on to Jesus Christ. Because that day, many will hate you for his name's sake. There will be family against family. Friends against friends. Children against children, brothers against brothers, sisters against sister, parents against parents. Love will go cold. There will be an increase in hatred. But take heed. He that endure to the end will be saved. He that will stand a tough time will be saved. He that will hold on to Jesus Christ will be saved. That's what the Bible makes us to understand. Brothers and sisters in Second Timothy. In Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, in the making to understand verse 1 to 5, he said, This also, this know also, that in the last day, perilous per, times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own self, covetousness, boasters, and pride. Men shall be lovers of themselves. They'll be proud. Men will be lovers of themselves. Men will honor themselves. They will love themselves. They will be proud. They will be disobedient, untestful, unholiness, with unnatural affliction, false accusations. They will despise good. They will tell good to be bad and bad to be good. He said, but take heed that no man deceive you. For men shall be a lover of their own self, covetous, posters, pra, blasphemer, disobedient, to parents, unthankful, unholy, with unnatural afflictions, church breaker, false accusers, incontent, 
Pharisee despisers of all that are good, traitor, heady, hard mannered lover of pleasures more than lover of God, having the form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. There will be people who have the form of godliness but they deny the power of God. There will be people who will turn away. He said, for brothers and sisters, he said, in everything, he said, hold fast, endure to the end. He said, hold fast, he said, hold on to the end. But he that endure to the end, he will be saved. He that endure to the end will be saved. He that to the end will be a counter to stand before the Son of Man. Brothers and sisters, take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man fool you. Take heed that no man lie to you. For the days of terror of disobedience will expand the wrath of God. For those that will dwell to the end, those that will be prosecuted for his sake, those that will be denied opportunity for his sake, those will be safe. He said, The nation will persecute you for my sake. They will lie on you in your community. They will persecute you in your community for my needs. People will gain against you for my needs. Family will go against you for my needs. Friends will go against you for my needs. He said, but he that endure to the end will be saved. He that endure to the end will be saved. That's what the Bible makes to understand. Matthew chapter 11, verse 6. The blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. He said, Blessed are those that will not be offended in me. That when they are persecuting for a need, you will not be offended. Say, so Why are they persecuting for Jesus Christ? Why are they beating me for Jesus Christ? You will not be offended. Why are they denying me joy for Jesus Christ? You will not be offended. Why? Because blessed are they that will not be offended for his need's sake. Blessed is he whoever shall not be offended in me. Take heed that no man deceive you. The children of God be not deceived, but be wise. Because there are false prophets in the market, false prophets in the world, false prophets in your community. They throw antichrist in this world. But take heed that you not be deceived. Who unto Jesus Christ? He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Look up to Jesus Christ. He is our Lord and Savior. Look up to Jesus Christ. Look up to Him. Look up to Jesus Christ. Surround yourself with the Word of God. Surround yourself with the Word of God. Let the Word of God be in you. That's why He makes us understand. In St. John 15, verse 7, He said, Abide in me and I in you. And whatever you need, I will give it to you. Let Christ be in you. And be in Christ. Take heed that no man deceive you, that you will endure to the end, that you will finish the rest that is set before you, that you endure to the end. But the Lord informed you and I that those who will endure to the end, those who will endure to the end, will be saved. Those who will endure to the end will be saved. That's what the Bible makes us understand in Mark 13, verse 13. I come to Mark chapter 13, verse 13. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, their sin shall be saved. He that shall endure unto the end shall be saved. Men will hate you, they will persecute you, see all kinds of things against you. But he that endure to the end shall be saved. He that endure to the end shall be saved. Today is a acceptable time. This is an appropriate time. Accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and personal Savior. That you will endure to the end. That when the persecution comes, you will be able to withstand the tough time. You will be able to withstand the difficult time. You will withstand the persecution and affliction. But take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man lie unto you. For the children of disobedience will experience the wrath of God. For those who honor him and, and they are persecuted for his name's sake, they shall be saved. They shall be saved. Withstand sorrow. With still persecution, but it will care you for his needs sake. But you'll find life and you will be saved. Beloved brothers and sister, this is the appropriate time, this is the acceptable time. Take heed that no man deceive you. Make Jesus the author and the finisher of faith, making the master of your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. 
And Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless you. I worship you. I honor your name. I reference your name. I tell you, thank you for this hour in the name of Jesus. I tell you, thank you, Daddy God, for the beautiful people you have given unto me, Daddy God. We tell you, thank you, Holy Spirit, for your word. We tell you, thank you for speaking unto your people. We tell you, thank you for touching your people in the name of Jesus. We tell you, thank you that you speak through the vein, the blood, the assistant, the spirit, the body, the soul, Daddy God, that they will not only be the yard of the world, but they shall be the door of the world. We tell you, thank you, Daddy God, that they will be on the higher the world in their heart, Daddy God, that they may not sin, Daddy God, that they will take ye, Daddy God, and dwell to the end, Daddy God. Taste your people, Holy Ghost. Direct your people, Holy Ghost. Guide your people, Holy Ghost, in their day to day activities. That you thank you. Supply their need according to your riches and glory. Thank you, Daddy God. Thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Beloved brothers and sisters, if you are on this land and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I want you to repeat these words after me. Say, Dear God, I believe that you sent your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, into this world. He was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day, God Almighty raised him from the dead. He is at the right hand side of the Father. By faith, I accept you as a Lord and personal Savior. By faith, I'm born the King. By faith, I have eternal life. Behold, all things have passed away. I'm a new creature. I am born again, but I feel I have eternal life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the master of my life. You are the savior of my life. You are the Lord of my life. I am born again in Jesus' mighty name. Beloved brothers and sisters, if you said these words after me, know that God heard you and you are born again and you are saved and your sins have been forgiven and you are highly blessed and favor. God love you. I love you, but God love you the best. Share this video. I have no copyright to the song playing in the background. Until we meet again, have a wonderful week and God bless you in Jesus' name.